Next up, we'll do a little bit of material editing, watching how that can be changed uh, very quickly and pre-visualized with V-Ray RT. In this scene, I'm still using the assisting rendering machines and still have 56 cores helping out. Let's say we had this teapot here and we wanted to change it from its current chrome-like or uh, brushed metal effect to something more like a brushed copper effect. Well, if I bring up the material editor, we can take a look at what materials are currently assigned to it. So I'll go here and we'll just eyedropper it. And um, we get this material called metal. If I hit the uh, select objects it's assigned to, you'll notice there's um, many many objects. So this is actually being used in a lot of places in the kitchen. If we want it to just be assigned to the tea kettle, then we'll need to select the kettle, uh, isolate the kettle, and then um, uh, open the group and then uh, select only the things that uh, show up in the group here, not including the, the group uh, box itself. And there's a handle here that's black, and the rest of this is uh, some other material. So um, what other material will we want to do? Well, we could go create a copper material very quickly. This is already in a V-Ray material mode, and I could just set these to kind of a, uh, a very reddish uh, orange. And I'll make that in both the diffuse and the reflect. I'll turn on the, the reflection there and bring down so we have a pretty blurry effect. It's sort of a, a, a coppery, golden kind of effect. Uh, another option, I'll just go ahead and assign that first, and we can take a look. And you get the view here. If I hit, if I exit the isolation mode, we'll take a look up here and make sure that the uh, other utensils are not uh, picking up the same copper because these have the same metal applied to it. Looks like the view up here may have uh, stopped working with the isolate, so we'll just close the active shade and right-click and reactivate it. And while that's loading up, I'll point out that my, in a lot of cases, you can find some really nicely made pre-built materials for V-Ray. They're here at vraymaterials.de. So if you wanted some kind of copper uh, effect, just key it in and there's all sorts of options here for uh, rusty copper and you just go pick one and download the zip file and within it are all the texture maps and elements that you need and you can just unzip that into your project folder. Um, here you can see that these have indeed remained silver while the pot is turned to copper. So if I wanted to load up the copper that I just picked up I might come here and go to uh, material library and open and the material library that is included in that zip file has the little copper on it. So here's one called Copper Old Shiny. And if we switch to a uh, thumbnail here, you can see the view. So I'll double click that and bring it into the material editor. And we'll make sure that these maps are looking in the right spot. for the material to work, all of the slaves will have to go to the right spot. And you can see this is the path that was assigned when the thing was originally created. So we need to go uh, point this to the place where the materials currently reside under our interiors too. So this one is Old Copper Diffuse. And I'll pause while I repath the others. Okay, now I've got those maps repathed and we'll assign this to the kettle. And we should see the kettle update in the viewport here very quickly. And this has some maps assigned and all of the render slaves are picking that up. Let's go ahead and pop out and uh, I'll go back to footstep or walkthrough mode. And we'll take a look around. I'd say there's about uh, six seconds to getting a, a reasonable time frame on this. Go back and uh, close the group now. Certain actions that you take that don't affect the scene don't cause the viewport to be regenerated, which is also nice. Okay, and I'll just take a minute to fly around the room and look at other places now. Using the E key to rise up. And I'm just clicking and holding my mouse down and then using the W and other keys to, uh, to drive around. Now 
Uh, let's say we've noticed that up here things are a bit dark. They're not, there's not a lot of light getting back under here. We want to add a little bit of under cabinet lighting. Uh, it's quite fast. Um, I'll just go to my front view and zoom out a little bit and uh, go create. Perhaps in this case I'll do a uh, V-Ray area light. So in the top view I'll draw a little rectangle and then we'll give it the dimensions of uh, 12 by 8 centimeters as the half length and half width. Pulling this out to where I can get access to it. Hit W for move and we'll move that up to the needed area. And we'll see if we can't find that in the view here pretty soon. And uh, this white splot showing up in the middle here is my light. Go to modify, maybe bring that down from 30 to something more like, oh, 2. There we go. And real quickly we're getting some results. We can see what we're going to get. Here it is with the light source invisible. But the light's still creating light below it. And there you have it. Next up we'll take a look at uh, an exterior.